Hey, I'm Jasmine Walk with Campus Reform. Today marks the official beginning of the confirmation hearings for Amy Coney Barrett. We're here today at a prayer event for her. Let's talk to these women about why they feel she should be the next woman on the Supreme Court. Why are you here supporting Amy Coney Barrett? I'm here because I think she is a symbol of women's empowerment. I want to be successful in the workforce because I'm driven, but at the same time, I want to be a good mom who instills good values in their kids and is there for them. And I think she really shows that that can happen. ACB is an amazing role model for young women. She's pro-life and I think that we need to save babies. She is a successful in her career. She has a family and um, she upholds the first life that we, the first right we are given, which is life. I personally am a very pro-life person, and I know Amy Coney Barrett holds up a lot of my conservative Christian values. And a lot of people, you know, have this twisted idea that because she's Catholic or because she's a Christian of faith, she's going to push her faith on other people. And that's not the, that's not the Christian faith at all. I stand for a judge who will stand for the Constitution, who will stand for life and liberty and all of the things that this nation was founded upon. The Constitution has um, g given us freedom and protected our rights. And so knowing that she totally believes in the Constitution, we totally support her. Voters decided they wanted a Republican Senate to go with their Republican president. Um, so I'm out here to support that choice that America made. She is an originalist and she's also overqualified. She graduated top of her class at Notre Dame and I think she will be a fantastic um, asset to the Supreme Court. And what would you say to someone who says that you're anti-woman for supporting Amy Coney Barrett? <laughs> well, uh, I'd say, well, she is a woman, so how can I be anti-woman? Feminism is about supporting women no matter what their views are. Just because a woman doesn't fit with the idea of the of the current left doesn't necessarily mean that they're anti-woman. Um, I think a lot of women feel like they have to conform to society and conform to um, what other women are telling them to do. And I think that she is held up to her own values no matter um, if women tell her that she's wrong for it. I think that's ridiculous. She's the definition of an empowered woman. What's your message to those who say that you're anti-woman for supporting her? <laughs> oh, we're far from anti-woman. I'm actually the opposite. Because I'm a woman, number one, and I'm a mother as well, and a sister and a daughter. Because a woman is to be a mother. A woman is to, to, um, to work and be the helper and to have a career. That's far from the truth. We're multitaskers. That's what we're built for. The problem about new wave feminism, it, it actually does not encompass all women. Women believe all sorts of things. Women are pro-life. Women can be conservative. Women can have very religious values. Um, and it's absurd to think that it should be otherwise. I think it's anti-woman to be protesting a woman. I mean, we should be celebrating her. The group that came in support of Amy Coney Barrett was met with protesters, and that's what we're seeing right now. So many people did see Ruth Bader Ginsburg as a feminist icon. So what do you think makes Amy um, worthy uh, to be her successor? Um, I think out of everyone that I could think of, uh, she is a feminist icon. Obviously, this woman is so successful. She's educated. She's everything that, and she's a mother. I mean, I don't know what she doesn't have. <laughs> Ruth, um, she, uh, like I said, it was a really strong independent woman as well um, and really stuck to her values and what, whether they were different or not. Um, I think it's important that they both are very strong in what they believe. People who, who um, admired us, uh, the late Ginsburg should admire her as well, despite your political beliefs. Just the fact that she is um, standing up as a woman and, um, you know, she's, she's breaking the ranks. Both of them stand up for the fact that women are capable of doing great things and being the top of their field. So even though they have different values, I think they're still both empowering women. I think Amy Coney Barrett is just as worthy as Ruth Bader Ginsburg as a, as a feminist icon, but even more so in the way that she is pro-life. She protects all life and she also supports women. I think she's going to really change it for the better and do great things and help our country grow. I love this nation. I love it with all my heart and um, that's why I stand here today. And um, I believe that she is one who does as well. You know how it is when these judges go through um, confirmation hearings they can get torn apart she doesn't deserve all the hate that she's getting so we're here to pray for her to be a support for her this is just a monumental moment in my life i know i'm going to look back at this for the rest of my life and be so glad that i was here and we're out here today um making sure that our voice is heard and that we have a supreme court justice that uh, fights for all women